how to remove watermark from pictures in Canva. Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can remove the watermarks from the images in Canva. First, we're going to look for a template where we will work on. I'm going to choose this Facebook cover here on the right. We're going to click on create blank. Now we are redirected to this page over here where we will be able to edit our page. We're simply going to go to the elements and we're going to search for an image that has a copyright image that has a watermark over here. And we're going to look for an image just like this. Now we're going to enlarge in our photo. Actually, I'm simply going to go back to elements and then we're going to find a photo frame so that we can easily add it. Over here, click on frames. Then we're going to choose a basic one. We're going to choose this frame over here. We're simply going to drag our photo into the frame and then enlarge in it a bit, just like that. Now, as you can see, it has a watermark called Canva and on top of our photo. And if we click on share and download, we would be able to download this photo, but it would have watermark on top of the photo. So what we're going to do is we're going to screenshot our photo right here. And then we're going to go to Google. Just like this. And then we're going to click on this search by image icon over here. We're simply going to upload the file that we have just screenshotted. Just like this. Now we're going to adjust our photo exactly to the size of our focus image just like that then we're going to wait for our result over here on the other side and just like that we have multiple and as you can see there are multiple photos that look exactly like this on canva although it's not exactly the same but it is a good alternative for the photo that we are going to use now over here this is the close the closest image that i think we can use can simply click on this and then we're going to save this image as a JPEG and then we're going back to Canva and then we're going to compare side by side the difference between this image going to add another frame over here make it a bit smaller get the same size and then we're going to upload the photo that we have just downloaded into our Canva and we're simply going to drag it into our canvas over here. And as you can see, they are both similar. We can simply click on this image. We can click on flip. Made it horizontal. And just like that, we have a very similar image for our canvas. We have a very similar bulb without the watermark. And we can use this instead of using this one. Although this one looks better, this image is still good enough to replace this image. Now we're going to search for a new example. Going back to elements, we're going to search for an image. And we're going to look for another image with a watermark. And now we're going to select this photo over here. We're going to drag it there. We delete this for now. As you can see, there is a watermark on top of it. We're going to enlarge in this. Select that. And then we're going to screenshot it once again. Then we're going back here on the Google Lens. We're going to go back to the start. And then we're going to click search by image once again. And then we're going to upload the file that we have just screenshotted. And we're going to wait for it to upload. And we're going to be redirected back to this Google Lens search. And then we're going to resize this into exactly the photo size, just like that. We're going to wait. As you can see here on the right, we are not seeing something similar. 
to our original photo simply going to try and look more as you can see we cannot find something similar so we're going to try again and we're going to select another image going to scroll down we're going to search for this one the cat oh the cat image with the watermark select that we're going to screenshot it go back to google lens and go to search by image upload the file upload the file that we have screenshotted then we're going to adjust the photo once again to fit exactly our cat image over here select that then we're going to wait and as you can see, it will show us pictures of similar looking cats. And fortunately, we, can find, we can't find an exact replica of the image we want. You can choose a similar image instead to replace the original photo. So we're going to do it one last time and try finding. We're going to try and find another picture that has watermark on it. We're going to try this one, this photo of a flower. And just like earlier, we're going to screenshot this and we're going back to Google and we're going to search by image, upload the file that we have, click on our screenshot, wait for it to upload, we're going to edit our photo size over here to make sure we get something similar try this one then we can download this image download then we're going to go back to canva and then we're going to compare what we have found compared to the canva image over here we need to look for a frame drag this over here i'm going to upload our image like that then we're going to drag this over here now as you can see the images we found are not exactly the same but we can find something similar that we can use to replace the image into now if you don't want to do all of this hassle you can simply i suggest that you should buy the canva premium and you would be able to access all the elements all the photos all the apps like this one all the functions of canva and and let me tell you all the functions are worth it and that's it guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video